Bali needs no introduction. Its spellbound beauty, picturesque landscape have fascinated everyone. That's the reason why this small island, known as the Island of Gods, is one of the hottest trending destination across the globe. Today in this video, we will cover top 25 places to visit in Bali. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. I have covered a detailed travel guide including how to reach Bali, where to stay, what to eat, the budget and a lot of other informations in my previous video. If you haven't watched that, then click on the i button to check it out. Bali is jam packed with hundreds of places to visit and trust me, each one of them will blow your mind. But given that you would be visiting Bali for a limited time, I have picked up the best of the best places for you. Since this list is going to be pretty long, I have divided them into 6 categories. You can choose to cover places based on your likings. If you are a beach person, you might want to cover more beaches. Or if you like culture and architecture, you might want to cover more temples. It all depends on how many days you will be spending in Bali and what you would like to see and explore. Let's dive deep into our list of top 25 places to visit in Bali. Whenever we hear about an international destination, one thing that immediately strikes our mind is those beautiful beaches with blue ocean and white sandy beaches we have seen in the movies. Bali being an island is filled with so many beautiful beaches which are beyond our expectations. Diamond Beach in Nusa Penida is my personal favorite in Bali. The white sandy beach and silky blue water look spectacular. When you see it from the cliff, you can see the diamond shaped rock formation which is the reason behind the name of this place. Visiting the beach wasn't possible until 2018. With new stays carved out of limestone, you can now get down to the beach in 20 minutes. Reaching the beach needs little effort but it is worth it. If you decide to visit beach, it may take around 3 hours to explore the place. But if you are tight on time, then you can just catch a glimpse of the diamond beach from the viewpoint and head back. Kelinking Beach is the most photogenic spot in entire Bali. In fact, this place is probably the reason why Bali has got so much popularity. The view from the top looks like a dinosaurus, T-Rex in particular. It's a unique shape which you won't see anywhere else. Just like Diamond Beach, Kelinking Beach is mesmerizing as well. Blue ocean, white sandy beaches, limestone rock formations and greenery around will take your breath away. You can trek all the way down to Kelinking Beach but the trail is very difficult and way too scary. I wouldn't really suggest you go down to the beach but you can walk down some distance to get the best view. Because Kelinkang is so popular, it can get way too crowded. If you are staying in Nusa Penida for a day, then you can come to Kelinkang beach early in the morning to beat the crowd and have the entire place for yourself. Sometimes, Mother Nature leaves us with something quite remarkable and Broken Beach in Nusa Penida is a living proof of that. You can't get into the water at this place, but you can enjoy the view of the broken beach from the top. This is probably one of the amazing places to take photos. The aerial view of the broken beach was to another level. I felt it was worth buying the drone after flying here. Next to the broken beach is Angel's Billabong. It is famous for its natural infinity pool. It is quite tempting to get into the water at this place, but be aware that it is super dangerous. Nevertheless, the view of waves crashing is worth seeing here. If you are tight on time, then you can just skip and just build a bong. Crystal Bay is a popular diving spot in Nusa Penida. It is rich in marine life which makes it popular for snorkeling and scuba diving experiences. Even though there are other diving spots with richer and more beautiful marine life, Crystal Bay remains favorite of everyone. When we were here, we opted for scuba diving. Beginner scuba diving experience will have two open ocean dives. The first one is usually conducted here. Crystal Bay is known for its spectacular sunset as well. Suluban Beach is a remarkable beach in Uluwatu, South Bali. Also known as the Blue Point Beach, this place is super interesting with caves, beach restaurants and amazing surfing conditions. This beach is popular among surfers because of the high tides at this place. Apart from that, it is famous for its mesmerizing sunset. There are other beaches near Suluban beach like Nang Nang beach and Padang Padang beach that are also worth the visit. When we talk about foreign beaches, we only imagine white sandy beaches. But did you know that there are equally stunning black sand beaches in Bali? The black sand beaches are created from volcanic ashes. So technically it is a volcanic dust. 
The sand is not only black in color but also glitters under the sunlight. You will find many such black sand beaches in Bali, among which Pasut Beach is one of the popular ones. The best part about Pasut Beach is that you can ride a two-wheeler on this beach. Riding on the sand beach is such an adventurous experience. Did you know that there is a black sand beach here in India also? Can you guess the name of the place in the comment section below? Even though Indonesia is a Muslim dominant country, Bali is a Hindu dominant island. There are more than 80% of the Hindu population in Bali. Just like India, Bali is filled with so many beautiful temples. The architecture of temples in Bali is quite different from that in India. The temples in Bali are designed as an open air places of worship surrounded by walls. It is usually divided into three sections, outer courtyard, middle courtyard and inner courtyard. The inner courtyard is where all the shrines are installed. Tourists are not allowed to enter the inner courtyard, but you can visit the other parts of the temple. The temples in Bali have spectacular architecture which is uniform across all the temples. There are thousands of temples in Bali and given a limited time, you can try to cover the important temples on your visit to Bali. It is mandatory to wear a sarong while entering Balinese temples. Sarongs are nothing but dhoti which you can wrap around your waist. We can borrow these sarongs at the temple itself and drop it back while leaving. Ulundanu Bharatan Temple is probably the prettiest temple I've seen in Bali. The temple complex is on the shores of Pratan Lake. This temple is called the floating temple because the temple looks like floating in the water. The Lake Bratan is the main source of water for irrigation in central Bali. And this temple is used for offerings and ceremonies dedicated to Balinese water goddess Devi Danu. Tirtha Temple is famous for its holy water spring. It is believed that if you bathe in this sacred water spring, it will wash away all your sins and purify the soul. This is the only place where you get to perform the rituals alongside the local Balinese people. If you walk around, you can see the origin of the spring water which looks no less than a wonder. Tanalot translates to land in the sea in Balinese language. There are seven ocean temples in Bali which are built at the eye line of the next, among which Tanalot is the most popular one. Tanalot was built in 16th century to honor the sea spirits. It is believed that the temple is protected by sea serpents. It is one of the most visited and photographed temples in Bali and it is especially busy at sunrise and sunset. Ulwatu Temple in South Bali is yet another important temple in Bali. It is built across seashore and is famous for its stunning view of the ocean. Ulwatu Temple is known for its fire dance called Kechak dance that happens in the evenings. The fire dance performance is based on Ramayana epic and it is depicted in an excellent form of dance. You can see fire dance in GWK Park, Ubud Palace and a few other places. But watching the fire dance in Uluwatu remains the most popular one. That's because you can watch the stunning sunset while seeing the performance. One thing that you need to be careful about here is the monkeys. The monkeys are very aggressive and will steal your belongings like goggles, wallets and even mobile phones. When we were there at the location, a monkey stole somebody's mobile in front of our eyes. People say that monkeys are trained to steal the items so that the workers will help you get back the item and demand money for helping. I don't know if the monkeys are actually trained or not. It is important to be careful about your belongings at this place. Tirtha Ganga Water Palace used to be the royal palace. It has been now converted into beautiful gardens. It feels really nice to see Balinese culture valley the holy river Ganga. You can walk around the water palace and click some beautiful photos. Don't forget to buy fish food which is available near the entrance. The waterfalls in Bali are just amazing. There are a lot of waterfalls in Bali, some of which are popular, whereas some are secluded and hidden from the regular crowd. When in Bali, make sure to visit at least one or two waterfalls. You are gonna love it. The best part about these waterfalls are stunning views, clear water and greenery surrounding it. You may have to climb down a little bit to access the waterfalls, but it will be worth the effort. There will be changing room facility available, so carry extra pair of clothes if you decide to get into the water. Waterfalls in Bali might look similar to each other. That's the reason I have picked up a variety of waterfalls for you. Banyumala Twin Waterfalls is one of the most impressive waterfalls in Bali. The waterfalls are massive and absolutely stunning. 
Despite its incredible natural beauty, the Banimala waterfalls isn't crowded compared to other waterfalls in Bali. Although this is not a hidden falls, we were lucky to be the only ones at this place. One thing that sets Tukarchapung waterfalls apart from all the other falls is its location. The waterfalls is deep inside the caves and to reach it, we will have to walk through natural cave formations which in itself is quite a thrilling experience. The best thing about these waterfalls is its sun rays. It transforms this place into a filmy look. Make sure to visit it around 11am to get the best lightings. Sekumpul waterfalls is yet another beautiful waterfalls in Bali. There is a total of 7 waterfalls at this place and you can choose between 3 tour packages to visit them. This is probably the costliest waterfalls to visit in Bali as it is compulsory to take a guide. You can either go for view only, medium trek or a long trek. Choosing the medium trek would be optimal for most tourists. Tibumana waterfalls is a super photogenic waterfalls near Ubud and it is an absolute must visit. This waterfalls is amazing for capturing some beautiful photos and spending quality time amidst nature. I would recommend you to visit in the early morning to beat the crowd. Kantolampo is a beautiful multi-tire waterfalls near Ubud. This waterfalls is not suited for swimming but you will enjoy playing in the water and clicking some amazing photos. Bali is known for adorable photo spots. You will find so many photo spots in Bali to click some Instagram worthy photos. Getting a photo at one of these spots can cost anywhere from 50 rupees to 100 rupees. If you are a photo freak then you can try to cover as many photo spots as possible. Lempiang Temple, simply called the Gateway of Heaven, is the most Instagram spot in Bali. The Lempiang Temple is a multi-stage temple with more than 7 to 8 temples, but 99% of the tourists visit only the first temple, which has popular Balinese gates. The iconic Balinese gate with the backdrop of Mount Agung looks no less than a paradise. Probably that's the reason it is called as the Gateway of Heaven. The reflections you see in those photos are created artificially using a mirror. You may call it a fake photo. But if you see it from a photographer's view, it is a creative way to click the picture. When you buy the entry ticket, you will be given a number. There will be an organized queue to get the photos clicked at this place. There will be a person who will click photo for you. You may have to wait 2-3 to three hours for your turn and you get less than 2 minutes to actually get the photos. So make sure to do some research about the poses that suits you. Was the wait worth it? Looking back at the photos, I would definitely say yes. But if you are short on time, then you can skip this place. Apart from the Balinese gate, you can click some incredible photos in the surrounding places as well. Handara gate is a Balinese gate just like the one we saw in Lempiang temple. You will see this Balinese gate everywhere but the ones in Lempiang and Andara are the most popular ones. You can get some pretty shots at Andara gate. Make sure to be here as early as possible otherwise it will be pretty crowded and you might have to wait for around 1 hour to click the photo here. Tegalalang Rice Terraces is a popular rice terrace in Bali. We can enter Tegalalang Rice Terraces through different places. Depending on the entry point, the prices may vary. We can stroll around the paddy fields, click photos at selfie spots and try Bali swings. If you want to do swings, then inquire the prices at different places and then go for it. The prices for Bali swings can vary from 1000 rupees to 2000 rupees per person. Tegalalang Rice Terraces can get very crowded during peak hours. I would suggest you to be here as early as possible. You can chill out at any restaurant overlooking the rice terraces. We tried Tis Cafe which was a very beautiful bamboo house with a pool access. Lahangan Suite is near Lempiang Temple and is a famous photo spot especially because of the tree structure with the backdrop of Mount Agung. Reaching Lahangan Suite is little difficult as the last 800 meter stretch is through very bad roads. You will either have to walk or hire a two-wheeler to cover the last stretch. Or if you got a good riding skills, then you can take your two-wheeler all the way to the top. There are a couple of photo spots at this place, among which tree structure is the most popular one. If you are tight on time, then you can skip this place. Garuda Vishnu Cultural Park, simply known as GWK Park, is the latest tourist attraction built in 2018. GWK Park houses biggest Garuda Vishnu statue in the world. 
द स्टैचू इज सो बिग दैट यू कैन सी इट फ्रॉम एरोप्लेन वाई लैंडिंग द जी डब्ल्यू के पार्क इज क्वाइट बिग एंड हैज अ लॉट ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इन साइड यू कैन सी द ट्रेडिशनल डांस द स्टैचू ऑफ विष्णु स्टैचू ऑफ गरोडा एंड द वर्स्ट टॉलेस्ट स्टैचू ऑफ विष्णु सिटिंग ऑन द गरोडा इन साइड द स्टैचू यू कैन सी ब्यूटिफुल क्राफ्टमैनशिप डिपिक्टिंग द एपिक्स फ्रॉम रामायणा यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच फायर डांस इन द इवनिंग विदाउट पेइंग एडिशनल कॉस्ट Jatiluvi rice terraces are less commercialized and less crowded rice terraces you can find in Bali. This is a good alternative to Tegalalang rice terraces. Jatiluvi is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Walking through the rice terraces is a very soothing experience. You can choose to walk between three trails, a short one, medium one and a longer one. We can never forget our visit to Jatiluvi because we crashed our drone here. But that's a story for some other time. Ubud is known as a cultural capital of Bali and there are so many places in and around Ubud. We can stay in Ubud for some days and explore the places around it. Ubud Palace is located at the heart of the city and it used to be the royal residence of the kings. Next to Ubud Palace is Saraswati Temple. We can take evening walk at Kempuhan Ridge Walk or go for shopping in Ubud Art Market. The Monkey Forest is yet another popular attraction in Ubud. For us Indians, seeing monkey may not excite as much, but other international tourists are crazy about this place. Getting a selfie with monkey is so unique to this place. The monkey forest is very well maintained and feels like you have entered into another world. You can also visit Goa Gaza, which is very close by. Indonesia is famous for volcanic mountains and there are two active volcanic mountains in Bali Mount Agung and Mount Batur It is possible to hike both these mountains but Mount Batur trek is quite popular because it is relatively easier hike compared to Mount Agung Mount Batur trek is suitable for both beginners and experienced trekkers trekking an active volcano experiencing the hot streams having a closer look at volcanic crest and watching the beautiful sunrise is a whole different experience I have made a dedicated video about Mount Batu trek which you can check by clicking on the i button above. Even though Bali is rich in culture and architecture, there is another side to it which loves partying. There are so many pubs, beach clubs and restaurants in Bali that you will be spoiled with choices. If you are in Bali for more than 5 days, then I would highly recommend you to visit a day club. It might be a little expensive, but you get to enjoy the stunning views, get pool access, Have good food and enjoy the drinks. We visited 180 day club in Uluwatu and totally loved it. Apart from the day club, if you want to party, then you can visit one of the night clubs. There are so many beach clubs options in Seminyak, Changu and Uluwatu. We did visit Potato Head Beach Club and Fins Club. We didn't really like Potato Head Beach Club but loved Fins Club. That was my list of top 25 places to visit in Bali. Let me know if you have any question related to Bali in the comment section below. I have made a dedicated video covering everything you need to know before visiting Bali in another video. You can watch it by clicking on this video on the left. See you in my next video. Until then, keep traveling.